Hi, my name is Kieran Quinn. I'm the Research Support Librarian here at Maynooth University. So I'm going to give you a very quick introduction to altmetrics. So what are altmetrics? So altmetrics are metrics and qualitative data that are complementary to traditional citation-based metrics. They'll be the kind of metrics you might find in the Scopus or Web of Science database. They measure the attention your research output receives online and scores it. So they give you an attention score. And it tracks research outputs, which includes scholarly publications, but also data sets, codes, and non-traditional research outputs, including news media, policy documents, posters, creative practice outputs, websites, and more. The sources of intention include uh, public policy documents, media coverage, social media, Wikipedia, bookmarking managers, reference managers like Mendeley. Uh, they're sourced from the web, so automatically can tell you a lot about how often journal articles and other scholarly outputs like data sets are discussed and used around the world. For that reason, altmetrics have been incorporated into researchers' websites, institutional repositories. So, for example, the Maynooth repository Mural has a link where you can look at altmetrics you receive for your work, uh, journal websites, and more. And they have on their website uh, lots of useful tools, including ones that allow you to um, track your own uh, the output and the attention that your output receives. So how are the scores calculated? So they're calculated by a weighting system. So depending on the kind of output, they'll give it a particular score. So for example, news will get eight, blog gets five, and so on. And then they're calculated and displayed in these donuts. Now the automatic attention score itself, it's displayed like this, and the different colors represent different types of sources. So for example, blog posts are yellow, Twitter is blue, policy documents are purple, and so on. So the colors donate source and then the number inside it is the the attention score that the item receives uh, many databases including library search and scopus include the automatic attention score along with traditional citation metrics for articles so often when you find an article in library search or in scopus you'll often see this donut displayed beside it giving you um, details on the attention that item is receiving so how do they work so for your research we track you need research output that's tracked by Augmented Explorer, so it could be books, book chapters, journal articles, presentations, and so on. Lots of types of output is covered. It needs to have a unique identifier, so a persistent scholarly identifier. So, for example, a DOI, the Digital Object Identifier, which you'll find on most uh, publications, that needs to be included. So, for example, if you're sharing it on Twitter, you'd need to include that so it'll um, link to your article. PubMed has IDs. AORXAV, the repository, has IDs. Um, Social Science Research Network has ideas. There's lots of ideas out there. So they'll need something along, along that line just to, to distinguish your paper, to make sure people um, can track it. It needs to be mentioned in a source that Altmetric tracks. So Altmetric doesn't track everything. So it, would have, for, but it does track policy documents, media, blogs, uh, the likes of Mendeley reference management tools, uh, post-publication peer review forms, social media, patent citations, and so on. Other online sources including Wikipedia, Q&A forums, faculty opinions, YouTube. It tracks lots of sources and if you go into their website you'll find a full listing of exactly where they're tracking. And then you also need a hyperlink back to the original research output. So that would be a link back to the publisher's website or a repository where the paper is because obviously people are going to need um, access to the paper as well. So once you cover all those, uh, it improves the chance that your research will be actually tracked by Altmetric and you'll get those uh, nice attention score metrics. So how are they useful to academics and researchers? So researchers, funders, and institutions are interested in understanding and quantifying research dissemination and impact, particularly related to communicating with the public. So as you imagine, you get funding from your uh, funder. They, they're interested in what is the impact your paper has, and it, more than just the citations, it wants to know the cultural impact, economic impact, social impact, and all metrics can help you with that. Uh, traditionally, citations have been a primary impact measure. However, citations can be slow to accrue and focus on academic use. So the Altmetrics are very immediate. You're picking up immediate conversations and attention for your papers. Uh, Altmetrics, which track alternative dissemination forms for social media, have been suggested as a complement to citation-based metrics. So citations will give you one side of the picture. Uh, the more quantitative side of things, Altmetrics can help you with the qualitative side of things. Increased dissemination of articles, uh, open access via social media, blogs, Mendeley, and the resulting positive associations with citations. So the more available, the more visible your work is, that improves the chance of readership and therefore the chance of citations. Uh, Altmetrics can showcase the attention and influence of your research. So it's a record of attention, how many people have been exposed and engaged with your work, how, a measure of dissemination, how broadly has your work been uh, discussed and shared, indicator of influence and impact, 
some of the data gathered via optometrics can signal that research is, is changing field of study, public health are having any number of tangible effects on larger societies. So this is important and something you can show, say, when you're applying for funding or a, a, an academic position or for use in your CV. It provides a more nuanced story of researchers' value than citation accounts alone, so that you're able to show a broader impact. And the metrics, including citation-based metrics, are indicative of attention and impact, but all metrics can go deeper to look at the qualitative data underneath. Who's saying what about your research? Where in the world research has been carried out, reused, read, etc. So it gives you a bit more nuance, a bit more depth to the people interacting with your papers. Advantages over citation-based impact measures. They're quicker to accumulate than citation-based metrics. You get an early reaction to your papers. They can capture more diverse impacts than citation-based metrics. They apply to more journal articles and books. Uh, researchers are sharing their data, software presentations, and other scholarly outputs online more than ever. So it means we can track their use on the web as easily as we can for articles and books. So new formats, new ways of sharing data, you know, it's important to be able to track that. And you can follow the trail of those who interact with your papers to find new research and potential collaborators. So you can find new research in your area and also find people who are interested in your work writing in that area and you perhaps form collaborations with them. And you can also use Automatics Lawns of Bibliometrics in any scenario where you're trying to demonstrate the value and impact of your work, such as proposals, personal websites, job applications and CVs. So very useful for that. To access them, so we already would have some access, say, through, if you're in Scopus, you'll find PlumX metrics, which are all metrics. If you're in Library Search, you'll find all metric Explorer in there. They're using um, metrics as well. And they're, they're kind of little donuts beside the article when you find it. But I mean, Ruth also has a subscription to Altmetric Explorer. So you can register for access through the link in the Library A to Z database or go directly in through this link, altmetric.com explorer login, and just register with them. And that'll give you access to Altmetric Explorer. And whereas access already there, maybe in the library search or in Scopus, gives you article level metrics. If you register with them through our subscription, you can then go in and look at a deeper level. So you can get an overview of all of Maynooth, of just your department, of just you, uh, of just a particular journal, just a particular article. There's a lot more you can do with it. So well worth your while registering with that. And of course, you can then you can also output uh, your results. So for use in CVs, uh, funding applications and so on. And the themes they have are they have highlights, research outputs, timelines, demographics of where where is the interest in your work in the world, mentions, mention sources, and journals. And within that, then, a lot more uh, information that you can glean out of it. Okay, so for more information, there is a guide. If you go into Guides and Tutorials on the library homepage, and you'll find in there a Research Impact and Metrics Guide, and a section there on Altmetrics and Altmetrics Explorer, which will bring you through the whole process of setting up an account and all the kind of bits and pieces of how to use it. Um, so well worth having a look at that. Then there's also the Automatic Explorer Guide. If you just go into their website, you'll find lots more detail in there as well of all the different aspects of how to use the product and what it can be used for. Okay, so that's it. Th thank you very much for um, listening to this uh, short tutorial. If you want to contact me, please feel free. You have my email address here, kieran.quinn at mu.ie, and I'd be happy to take any of your queries or organize further training sessions. Thank you.